hello everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and finally i'm back after three days long halt no videos many of you had been asking me that what happened why no video from three days <laughs> so i was very busy in uh, finishing the formalities for my masters and now finally it's done over <laughs> so now i can start making videos again and all the time is there in the universe now okay so today we will discuss on something very interesting and something very important and many people have asked me regarding this and i regret that i could not make this video before this lunar eclipse because the topic of this video is how to prepare ourselves for an eclipse so there's a lot of information available in the youtube uh, and in the internet and in other places where they say that oh eclipses will bring death this this that there's a lot of confusion regarding that so let us see what actually eclipses do and i have already made a video on how to use eclipses to benefit ourselves okay so today i will speak on how to prepare for eclipses and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you prepare for these eclipses and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find it in the link of this video below okay in the description i mean so now what are eclipses basically eclipses are occurring when rahu and ketu or i mean either of them are in close proximity with sun and moon when there is a new moon or a full moon we all know that right astrologically that's the significance and what actually happens when there's an eclipse as i had explained in my earlier video that when there is an eclipse the past life karma which is represented by rahu and ketu is passed on to the manas and the atma which is moon the manas and atma is the sun so because of that what happens we become heavily influenced by our past and that can sometimes hinder our ability to make the right choices because our mind can be too much bogged by our past past doesn't mean past in this life i am not saying that past means something which happened to you yesterday or 10 years back no i am not saying that i am saying past means from many 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 millions and millions of lifetimes whatever karma we have accumulated that past can become uh, it can it, it can become very strong and we can feel a very uh, strong push to do things in those areas to bring out those desires which we once upon a time had so because of that what happens sometimes it can happen that we do not have protection during an eclipse protection means that we might end up doing things which we regret later that can happen or things can happen to us which we do not expect so how to prepare for eclipses well there are many stages and many steps let me see how many things i can say in this one video it will be a long one so the first thing we can do is we and we can start doing this uh, around 15 days before the eclipse so for example now on 11th august there is this eclipse and i will be making a video with anuradha sharada ji tomorrow morning on ashlesha nakshatra because the next eclipse is happening in the sign of cancer when sun will be in the nakshatra of ashlesha sun and moon will be conjunct in ashlesha 11th august the eclipse is happening so it is very important for us to understand the energy of ashlesha okay so please watch the video i'll be uploading it tomorrow so now before we understand about specifically the nakshatras it is important to understand that what we can do almost around 15 days before the eclipse okay so when i say that what how to prepare for an eclipse it should be around 15 days before it can be before than that also for example it can be before uh, like one month also or at max two months and you should also be doing all these things after the eclipse is over okay which means till the end of august for this year you should be doing all these things which whatever i say so the first thing we can do is before the eclipse happens or the eclipse enters or the eclipse comes is we can take a pen and a paper and write down the things that is bogging us too much yes we need to do it 
because what happens in an eclipse is the mind is completely clouded by either rahu or ketu i mean both so because of that we do not see things clearly we might see that oh i want this but then we end up doing something else that happens so first thing we need to do is we need to take a pen and a paper and write down the things which are bogging us too much take notice one month before the eclipse i i'm telling you for example now the eclipse happened it's going on today actually now when i'm making this video so now uh you might be feeling from the month of july onwards so whatever you are feeling from the month of july because today is 27 july so whatever you are feeling from the month of july if there's something which is bogging you too much if there's something which is eating up lot of your head it is eating up your energy your space your time your your entire consciousness is going into something then please write it down because sometimes what happens we keep floating actually oh this is happening today that is happening tomorrow tomorrow no it's not like that just take a pen and a paper and write down and you can categorize what problems you are facing okay so for example some pro somebody may face problems for relationships somebody may face problems for career somebody may face problems for health so whatever it is internally and externally so i would say whenever rahu is involved in the eclipse which means the eclipse which will happen on 11th august that will be involved with rahu and the eclipse which is happening now ketu is involved in that so rahu is more of that external energy because that kind of shows what we want to achieve in the future because and ketu will show those things which we perhaps want to let go of so whenever there is an eclipse around ketu it is important that we write down those things which are bogging us internally suppose internally there is some problem which is happening so we need to write down those things then the second thing is if rahu is involved then we need to ensure that we write down those things which are bogging us externally for example if there is a problem in your career or somebody is trying to pull you down or whatever it is or your boss is not happy or your performance is not good or you are planning to shift career externally i mean okay so then you need to write down those then the next thing that you need to do is you need to sit down and you need to check that list and you need to ask yourself how many of those how many of the points which i have written will actually matter in my life so for example many times people ask me that oh i am doing this job and i am obsessed with another job should i go for it should i resign from this job and apply to that job or something like that okay so write down from those points which you have written that how many of those points will actually matter in my life for example if that happens or if doesn't happens what will happen in my life especially when it is involved with a eclipse uh, connected to rahu because that's more external so we need to specifically write down what will happen if that happens or if it doesn't happens so suppose we see that the world is not going to collapse if that is not going to happen so then it is not good to take a risk which means that if you are planning that oh you are already in a nice job and you are planning to uh, give up your job and then do a business unnecessarily suppose it is not your inner desire but just because somebody told you or uh, somebody is somebody else is doing so you are feeling like that then it is not recommended but suppose it has something to do with your inner peace for example you have lost your peace in your job due to some reason for whatever reason it can be and then you are thinking that now i should be shifting not the company but i want to change my domain altogether i want to do something different only internally you are feeling that call from inside and you are not doing that to get some external name fame post position power authority you are not doing to get that you are doing it for your inner satisfaction then also you need to write down that what will happen if you don't do this and what will happen if you uh, do this what will happen if both the ways go okay and then you will get a more clearer understanding and the next thing we need to do is we need to maintain a reality check reality check means we have written down okay suppose i am in this domain i want to change my job now is that feasible should i do i actually need to do it 
okay i need to do it or i don't need to do it suppose i need to do it then we have to see how much is that idea feasible in reality feasible means suppose somebody is a java developer because i am from computer science i am giving examples pertaining to that suppose somebody is uh, a developer from java domain and due to some reason or the other he is planning to shift to python for example python is another programming language so now you need to actually see that is it possible for me to do it now do i have the finances to not work and take a course in python and learn it is it possible for me who will support my family if i am married or whoever it is you may be having other responsibilities yes your father or your mother may be ill so you might have to take care of them so you need to write down how much is it practical for me to do this now okay and then if you feel that it is actually practical then you might plan to implement it and should you implement it or not well that if if that is a very big decision you are planning to take regarding anything then it is uh, good that you consult somebody who is who is bit senior to you in that domain it, it can be anybody for example if you are having some issues in relationships then you can take advice from those cup those couples who who have good relationships okay or who has undergone lot of struggle and difficulties within their relationship but they are still together both of them can act as uh, very good uh, counselors for you or you can seek professional help also somewhere you can go to some marriage counselor or somebody or you can also go to an astrologer that these are very good alternatives okay you 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 can do all this then by that you will understand what's the reality actually because sometimes what happens you may write many things in the list which i said but you go and show it to somebody and then that person has the experience and that person might tell you oh i'm sorry you are just roaming in the clouds it's not going to happen or oh yeah this is very easy you can do it like this so seek guidance from higher authorities from those who are experienced in that domain who are experienced in that field before you do something drastic or before you do something big okay and then the next thing you need to do is this is very 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 important and this is for your overall inner structure that you need to chant the mantras which you are doing a bit more so for example if you are already chanting some mantras then now it is good if you do the mantras more so for example if you are chanting one mala which is 108 times for every mantra then it is good that it is good if you can make it two times which means morning two malas and then after you come home from the office evening again two malas if you can do that it's fantastic that's very important because that will keep you more grounded the problem with eclipses is problem means not that your life will be destroyed or something like that but the disturbance is caused they say that eclipses will cause disturbance no it doesn't cause disturbance to everybody it will only cause disturbance to those people who are already disturbed within should i repeat eclipses only cause disturbance to those people who are already disturbed from within so if you are peaceful mentally then nothing can stop you nothing can harm you actually you will never feel that oh eclipses are uh, creating havoc in my life you will never feel it those people who say like that you go and check their lives they 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 themselves are not uh, in line with their own spiritual purpose okay and then what else should you do you should always read the scriptures why because they will help you to get direction in life when you read the scriptures you will understand how great personalities had behaved and you will get the inspiration from inside that okay they behave like this i also should behave like this and also when you read the scriptures you will get example of people to show you how you should not behave so for example if you read the ramayan you will get the example of ravan kumbhakarna and meghnath indrajit is his other name of course meghnath so these three characters are showing us how we should not be and then the other characters like hanuman jambavan sugriv lakshman and lord ram himself of course they are showing us and vibhishan of course also they are showing us how we should behave in this world that is the lesson they are giving us then if you come to mahabharat then you have the pandavas yes we should take great inspiration from them especially yudhishthira maharaj 
Arjun, Bhim, Nakul, Sahadev, all of them, great personalities. Bhishma Pitama. Yes, they are great personalities. Vidur is one of the, uh, Vidur is also known as a Mahatma. Yes, Mahatma Vidur. So, when you know how they behaved, yes, they might have done something wrong here, there for some time, once or twice, but they are ultimately great personalities. So, we should always take inspiration from them. Yes, Yudhishthir Maharaj especially. When he was uh, asked by the Yaksha that whose life do you want back? Arjuna's or Bhima's life or Nakul Sahadev then he could have already uh, very easily said that I want the life of Bhima or Arjuna back but he did not say that because he wanted that one son from his other uh, mother which is Madri uh, I mean one of them should uh, stay alive so he said no I don't want <laughs> Arjun or him I want Sahadev so that's how he is actually and then Bhishma Pitama's example is there. Yes. Oh my God. So much struggle in life. <laughs> then we can read about people like Draupadi. We can read about Kunti. Take the example of Draupadi. Nobody was remaining after the Kurukshetra war. Her father was killed. Her brother was killed. Her sons perished. Only her husbands remained. Not Nobody else remained. Everybody perished. So much struggle, my God. Then Kunti. Oh my God. Always. She became a widow when she was very young and after that always she is surrounded by conspiracies and scandals and all these things by the Kauravas. And then we have the Kurus, the Kauravas who teach us that what will happen when you take side of Adharma, religion, when you do not follow the scriptures, when you do not follow the advice given to you by great personalities like Bhishma. And Lord Krishna, of course, like Lord Krishna came and told to Duryodhan that if you if you fight this, if you start a war, you will you will perish because you cannot defeat the Pandavas. It's impossible. Whoever you are, they are on the side of Dharma, so they will always win the war. Wherever whoever is, <laughs> even if Bhishma is there on your side externally, even he will fall one day, and that's what happened. Bhishma Pitama fell one day. So, when we read about these characters like Shakuni, Dushasana, Duryodhana and Karna especially, yes, these four characters. So, then we will realize uh, how, how we can end up doing blunders in life. Take Duryodhana's example. Always going on trying to kill the Pandavas, yes, disrobe distro Draupadi, insult their wife, trying to take their kingdom which was never his. So, when you know all this, then you know about Dhritarashtra, father of Duryodhana, the, the king. That you know everything, still your eyes are closed. And you are pretending as if nothing has happened. So, when we know all this, then we know how we should and how we should not behave. Okay? And then we can have more clarity in our actions. And apart from this, we also need to ensure the next thing is that we can fast especially on the day of the eclipse or before the day of the eclipse it is very good uh, and also on the af day after the eclipse it is very good if we can at least fast till noon at least okay and that day it is best if we avoid grains on the day of eclipse we can take fruits and other things and it is es good especially if we avoid things like sugar that is also not good sometimes and most importantly if we are uh, indulging in any sinful activities like for example uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam says that there are four regulative principles so whoever is indulging in uh, breaking these four regulative principles like indulging in meat eating indulging in intoxication indulging in illicit sex indulging in gambling so whoever is indulging in all this which most of the people in Kali Yuga are unfortunately and that's why the situation of Kali Yuga is so precarious these days. So if we are indulging in all this then it is highly essential that we do not indulge at least for that month. Okay. So for example if we are eating meat it is good if we do not eat meat at least for that one month because then there is a chance that the contamination increases. Yes, because when we are eating meat, what we are doing? We are creating violence actually, right? We are depriving another 
living being of his right to live in this world so if we do not like to be told or taken away from our home so no animal would like to be told that get out of here now i will go and eat you whoever you are whatever you justify it it cannot be justified because the scripture say that you have not given life to anybody so you do not have the right to take life yes so and if you have some other bad habits like watching pornography yes or visiting prostitutes so many people these days telling oh this is happening that is happening or we are into a relationship and we are going on indulging with somebody else parallelly yes we are married extramarital affairs so if all these things we are doing then at least and if you are drinking also okay if you are smoking or doing any other kind of gambling like betting somewhere and if you are watching this video then it is highly essential that we do not do those activities at least for that month or at least for 15 days because now is the time that we can purify ourselves so that we can prepare ourselves for the eclipse okay and then the next thing that we can do is we can go and take guidance from our guru especially yes guru is guru for everything i mean <laughs> so we can always go and take the blessings of our gurus and we by their blessings we will be able to cross over anything and how do we do that we can go to satsang programs if there is a spiritual program which is happening in your city nearby that time then make sure you visit it okay <coughs> make sure you go and talk to the uh, speaker who is giving uh, the lecture and you can ask him or her go uh, important questions about spirituality and hopefully that person is able to answer you and then ultimately we need to do is we what we need to do is we need to give give donations yes we need to give donations to our uh, spiritual personality so that they can use this uh, our hard earned wealth and money yes in good causes good causes means in spreading spiritual knowledge okay so if you have a nearby uh, if you have a temple nearby then you can go and donate to the brahmins there uh, or you can go and donate to the uh, president of the temple or the authority of the temple whoever is in charge there or if you know somebody who is doing great spiritual work you can also donate to that person yes because nowadays there are many people who are doing uh, so many things even in youtube i know so many channels are there so you can also donate there depending on whatever whoever you are inspired by so that you can always do okay so these are the things you can do and at at the end what should you do yes at the end we need to pray to god that is the most important thing so we need to pray to god that we can uh, enter the new cycle because eclipses show new cycle okay so these are the things that we can do and abstain from wrong activities and do good activities so that is the lesson of the eclipse so when we are doing this we will at least be ready for the next eclipse okay and as i said we can keep doing this from 15 uh, 15 days to 1 month before that also we can keep doing so there is no harm in doing that okay the more you do uh, the more it is better for you so we can do it and it can happen that many of us are already doing so many things so we can continue doing that and increase the dose dose badha do thoda if you are doing one mala then make it two if you are doing two make it four if you are doing four make it eight if you are doing eight then make it 16 if you are making 16 then make it 32 all right and please read the scriptures take divine guidance from your gurus and whoever is uh, very proficient in the field where you are planning to take some new action or new decision okay so that is all i would say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please go to my website and you will find different options there you can book a reading with me and i can help you personally to understand what is going on and how to see these eclipses okay wish you good luck until next time bye bye see you